So if someone was going to tell me that a film about a bus driving poet was one of the best films of 2016, <laughs> I'd tell you you're lying because that sounds boring as hell. But where did this come from? <laughs> where, where did this movie come from? <laughs> because it's... <laughs> Bootsville. <laughs> Bootsville. <laughs> Get my ass kicked today. Who are you playing? Myself. Alrighty, so Patterson is directed by Jim Jarmusch. Jarmusch? Jarmusch? I don't know, I feel bad that we've never seen a film by him because, I mean, oh, this film oh. is absolutely incredible. He did Patterson in 2016, he also did an Iggy. Obviously, he did Patterson, but we're reviewing that now. Yeah. Oh my. Just get the f out of here. He did a documentary on Iggy Pop and the Stooges, and he also did, uh, well, he's done a lot of films, but recently he did Only Lovers Left Alive, which we haven't seen, but there's been a lot of hype about it. And after seeing this, we're definitely going to be seeing it because I, we did recently just see Moonlight, and we said that that film had this searing sense of deep humanity. And so does Patterson, in a very, very different way. I don't think I've seen a film that's so fully encapsulated the feeling that the world around us is so completely beautiful and we just have to be. Uh, present in the moment to see it. I, I, I mean this. Oh, well, it was just such a refreshing. I don't know. It was just so refreshing considering. Yeah, we literally went from watching Jackie and Moonlight within the last twenty four hours to Patterson. It was so good to see a film that was just so much about the beauty of the world yeah. and like how great people can be. How great sort of thing. So I mean, it was great to be able to see the scope that Moonlight went to and then the scope that Patterson went to, but also be so goddamn excellently crafted. I mean, I mean, this movie basically we're following Adam Driver, who is basically driving a yeah, bus. Yeah, Adam Driver. Funnily enough, driving. Oh my god. So yeah, we're following Adam Bus Driver ah! as basically through Monday through to the next, basically for a week. Every day of the week, start to finish. And this film, I, I, it's one of those films that people are going to be like, it was slow and it was boring and it had no plot. That's not the point. The point is we are with everyday people, but there's this level of excitement and, and intrigue and curiosity to the everyday that it just makes this so beautiful. It's very much about the mundane and it's supposed to be that type of thing but it's just searching for the beauty in those little moments in between and considering this is literally a film about a poet the, the film reflects that in every single way whether it be like the images that Jim Jamesh has captured here like everything is so articulated and so perfectly put on screen whether it be for comedy whether it be for emotion or whether it be just like to have the film pace well enough yeah. I mean like everything is just so well in place and the colors as well I mean I... just there's a full range of emotions. There's a full range of emotions and a lot of it is aided by the excellent soundtrack that's minimal and when it does turn up, it just <laughs> does one of those. But I think this is again one of those films where the intention is fully realised in every way. I don't think there was a single moment of this film that didn't land. I was finding myself going from tearing up to flat out laughing to having like w this weird melancholy moment where I'd kind of drift off and just be like, why is everything around me so fantastic? Uh, all in the space of like 10 minutes. I mean, no other movies this year have really done that to me. Really taken, taken me on that roller coaster without basically seeing... Like, it seems so effortless. Yeah, it's insane. And I mean, performances across the board here just aid this film to another level. Because obviously it comes from the script, for starters. Because the script is phenomenal. But, like, the performances just elevate it to another level here. Why is Adam Driver not getting any nomination attention? It doesn't make any sense, because he is so good. His comedic timing One here, of the best performances he's, he's, of the year. I think his understanding of the script is yeah. so very important. It just shows how intelligent this guy is. And he nailed... I just... I fully believed him. I fully believed oh, all the characters. And just everyone, to the extras, to the supporting roles, yeah, yeah. it was just nailed. And, oh my God, I mean, when you make a dog this goddamn oh my interesting God. on screen... One of the screen, best performances of the year is the dog in this film. Like, I have never, ever, I, like, I never watch films with animals in them and go, oh, that's adorable, that's a great use of, I've never had that before, but I was actually, like, full on, like, going full adult, I don't know, or something over, over an animal in this. I was like, this, I, I want this dog, this is amazing, so... This I, film is honestly just, it, it's, it's kind of flawless, like, it's really hard to talk about anything that's wrong with it, because there's nothing wrong with it. I don't it. think like, there is, the only thing that you can possibly find wrong with it is if you don't like it. And for us... We, we fucking love it. it. We love <laughs> it. We fucking love this and film. And we see just how good it is. I think we've seen everything that the director was trying to do here and everything that he pulled off. And I think for me, why I, I cannot believe I'm saying this again, but this film is another 10 out of 10. I, it's just unbelievable. It, we, we can't not give it a 10. It's yeah. impossible not to give I, this I film just, a 10. I can't find a fault in it. I can't find... 
a moment that I was even slightly not loving it. It honestly is just completely wonderful. All though. I can stress here, guys, is just go see this film, try to enjoy it, just sit back and relax <laughs> and take this just film check it in. Out. Just check it out. You know what? Even if you're falling asleep, there was moments where I was like, oh man, I am so relaxed right now. I could just, I don't even care if you have no intention of actually enjoying it. Put it on, let it put you to sleep because at least it's kind of like, it's got that feeling and you'll have a great sleep at least, I'm sure. Preferably don't because it's amazing and you don't want to miss a second of it. So that was our review of Patterson. Have you seen it yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like the video? Of course you did. Cry for more banner. If so, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel down there somewhere. And you can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter.